Hi everyone, this is Mary European Navy Hara and for today's episode, I'm going to share to you some tips a day before and on the day of your pre-employment medical examination. Help my tips edition, just keep on watching. Always watching my video. Hi Laura, love you. Shout out to Kabos the blogger, Boy Pobre Special from BSP Camp Lahog, to my OFW supporter from New Zealand, Bisda Tasho. Shout out to Nolan Gomez, to Marley Dumino, to CK GTRRZ, to Balong from Pampanga. Hi, thanks for watching. And last but not the least, a big shout out to my ever supported good friend of mine. It's Boy Lusot. His channel is Like What Channel Gala. If you are interested with driving, make sure to subscribe to his channel. It's Like What Channel Gala by Boy Lusot. Actually, I couldn't have done this without you because Boy Lusot drives whenever Pinay Biahera wants to go. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. But before we move on to our tip, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click that notification bell beside so you won't miss any of my future videos. So you can be part of my little YouTube family too. You need to prepare your appointment letter. So make sure you schedule ka na ng medical examination. Mo. Hindi ka may entertain on the testing area kung wala kang appointment letter. Yung appointment letter na tanggap nyo sa email, pwede nyo ipaprint or just take a screenshot na lang and ipakita sa staff upon entry. So make sure, get the earliest time you can. Prepare a copy of your LOE or letter of employment. Also, your passport and your Siemens book or serve. So have at least one copy of that. Just prepare it a day before your medical examination. Para hindi na kayo maghahanap on your on the day of your exam. So you could answer the health declaration form online. So click nyo lang yung link na included sa appointment letter ninyo on letter B and you can answer that a day before or on the day of your medical examination. If you don't have access on the internet, you can just fill out the form upon your arrival. So make sure no symptoms of COVID-19. Bahet kasi if they suspect you to have any of the symptoms, imbawa may sipon ka. So you need to seek treatment first on the nearest hospital before they can accommodate you. So on the day of your medical examination, you need to do fasting. Right now, they are very strict with regards to fasting. They are requiring crew to fast at least 8 to 10 hours for those who need to take this test. And 10 to 12 hours for this test. So if you need to fast for 10 to 12 hours, a little advice, you can take your last meal at 9 p.m. And do not take anything that includes water. Bawal uminom ng tubig o kumain ng kahit ano mula 9 p.m. hanggang makuhanan kayo ng dugo. That is very important to get an accurate result on your examination. So remember, no intake. Huwag kumain ng kahit ano. They are also implementing strictly the no face mask and face shield no entry policy. And I think most of the establishments are already implementing this to better have an extra face mask on your bag just in case it breaks or you lost it. And if you are not wearing your face mask and face shield, if hindi mo dala or hindi ka ng face shield or your face mask, 
Sad to say, you need to reschedule your appointment. Additional things you need to bring. So nowadays, you really need to bring these things to always sanitize your hands for personal use only. Kailangan natin magdala ng alcohol, not just in health metrics, but also anywhere nowadays. Para panlaban natin sa virus. Always bring pen on the day of your medical examination because you need to fill out a lot of forms. So, hindi ka makakahiram siguro. May mga extra yung iba, pero busy din sila kaka-fill out ng kanila. Baka mahirapin ka maghanap ng pen. It's always a good practice to bring your own pen. It is hygienic na rin. Especially right now, takot tayo sa virus. So, para hindi magkahawa-hawa, just bring your pen. On the day of examination too, bring a little snack. So you can bring a biscuit, pwede ka magdala ng biscuit. Kahit isang sachet lang ng Skyflex or Rubisco, whatever you like, sa may ma-intake ka. Kinakailangan mong mag-intake something kasi naggaling ka ng fasting and when you are hungry, tataas yung BP mo. So make sure nakawaran ka muna ng dugo before you intake anything, even water. So, magpakuha ka muna ng dugo and then have something before you take your BP or blood pressure. Kasi may nakasabayan ako doon na nagpa-BP siya and sa mga 12 hours wala siya kain and tumas yung BP niya. Well, then, pinakain muna siya ng medical staff and yun, naging normal yung BP niya. Well, make sure you always ask before you intake anything. Hindi masamang may tanong kung pwede ka nang kumain o hindi pa. Huwag basta-basta kumain, kundi uulit ka. At kung hindi niyo gusto niyo, magastos niyo. So, a few hours before your medical examination, if you can go to health metrics in less than 2 or 3 hours, it is better na i-prepare niyo yung stool sa bahay ka lang para hindi na kayo magkalat o mag... <laughs> Mahirapan dun siya sa aking area. Pwede naman siya sa aking area. May comfort yun naman dun sa lupa. Pero it's always convenient for us to prepare it at home. Kahit magkalat kayo sa, magkalat kayo sa bahay mo, okay na. So, stool is your... So, may nabibili naman sa mga pharmacy na nalagyan ng stool. So, lagay nyo na lang dun. And then, hindi you know the health matrix. To get a better result, make sure to deliver it to the testing area in less than 2 to 3 hours. Another tip is to arrive in health metrics earlier than your scheduled time. So, today my scheduled time is 7 a.m. but I arrived there 15 to 30 minutes earlier. Why? Because even though you have a schedule, it is still first come first serve. Policy. Kahit nagpa-schedule ka at 7 a.m., hindi lang ikaw ang nakaschedule ng 7 a.m. Marami kayo. And depende kung sino ang nauna, may pila pa rin. Gaya ng pinakita ko sa inyo. So, they have cut off times for laboratory. So, laboratories are open at 6.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. for weekdays. And for weekends, they are open at 6.30 a.m until 12 noon only. So let's talk about the process. Some of you might already know the process, some might not, but I'm just here to share it to you. So as of March 31st, 2021, so the process goes like this. So my appointment at 7 a.m. and pumunta ako before that, mga 6 30 or 45 I guess and may line na ilan din yung mga seafarer doon so ang nangyari doon nagline mo na while doors are still closed and then nang nandun na yung staff in open yung door and one by one you need check ng medical staff if meron ka bang appointment what time and date you need to show your email on that staff you need also to show your LOE your passport your Siemens book or serve 
But we need to submit these three at the reception. So, sa loob niyo pa, niyan i-submit. You need to also show that you are done with the online health declaration form. And if wala, sila na mag-provide ng paper na fill out sa mo. And before you get inside, ibigyan ka niya ng number. So, pag nakapasok ka na, diretso ka lang sa upuan at tatawagin yung number mo ng reception. Once your number is called, ibigay mo lang yung number mo and your requirements, which is the LOA, letter of employment, your serve, and passport. In exchange, bibigyan ka nila ng napakaraming form na you need to fill out. If matagal mo nang ginagawa ito, madali na lang para sa iyo. Pero if you are first timer, so ma-overwhelm ka, kadami ng form na fill up mo. They also need to capture you a photo and may pipirmahan ka electronically. After that, proceed to different medical examination. Mapa-extra ka na agad ng dugo para makainan ka na ng water, which is kailangan mo rin for your urine sample. By that time, you also need to pass your stool. Kailangan mo na ipasa yung stool niyo. So after ng blood extraction niyo, na nakasubmit ka na ng urine and stool, maghintay ka na lang na tawagin yung name mo ng iba't ibang mga testing area. Like audiometry, optometry, your physical examination, at iba. But remember, sa dental and vital signs, you need to submit your paper bago ka tawagin. Baka maghintay ka na maghintay dun sa dental and magulat ka bakit hindi ka pa tinatawag. So, submit your paper first. Meron nakalagay dun na for dental. Knock on their door. Submit your paper and wait na tawagin ka. Also, for vital signs, lumapit lang kayo sa nurses dun sa middle. So, submit niyo yung paper niyo and they will check your weight, height, your BMI, and also your blood pressure. So, kung sobrang gutom ka na, it's something before they get your blood pressure. So, hindi, tatas yung blood pressure mo. So, after that, wala nang step by step kung alin test ang mauuna. So, kailangan mo na lang maghintay doon na tawagin ka. Yung audiometry, test doon kung okay ba yung pandinig mo. Tataas mo lang yung kamay mo kung aling side mo narinig. Yung sounds na pinapakinig ko yun. Sa optometry naman, test kung kaya mong pabang magbasa ng malayuan. Kung gano'ng kalabo o kalinaw yung mata mo. So, tatakpan yung left, magbabasa ka. And tatakpan yung right, magbabasa ka ulit. So, dati, nang magpa-medical ako, yung colorblind test nila, nasa booklet lang. Ititrace mo lang yung number and you also say it at the same time. But right now, it's uh, ding-ding to ding-ding. So, nakasandal ako sa ding-ding and you need to read the number or the colorblind test on the screen. Nasa monitor na but nasa dulo ng room. So, nasa ding-ding na. So, maghintay ka na lang natawagin. Alalahanin nyo, iba't iba ang position natin. At hindi lahat ng position ay magkakapareho yung test na kinukuha natin. Aside sa mga nabanggit ko, Meron pa mga special test ang ibang position. Like for my position, I am not required to have stool test. So, hindi ko kailangan ipasa yung stool ko. So, hindi ko kailangan magbit-bit nito. So, maybe yung mga F&B department or yung mga food handling department, yun yung mga nire-require ng stool. Once tapos na kayo sa lahat ng test, bumalik kayo sa reception at ibigay niyo yung paper na puno ng different medical examination with signatures. Then lastly, bibigyan nila kayo ng stab containing um, their website, some instruction kung paano nyo i-open yung medical result niyo online. And also, kung may kailangan kayong i-submit. For example, your dental, ipalinis kayo sa labas, hindi kayo nagpalinis sa loob, because we know that it's a little bit mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Kailangan nyo yung submit so hindi kayo makakapunta basta-basta. You need to have another appointment for that bago kayo papapasukin. And oops! There's more! Huwag mo na mag-enjoy o huwag mo nakakain ng sobra-sobra. Yung mga bawal, minus-minus muna. Okay kumain ng konti pero minus muna. At baka hindi pa kaya. Hintayin muna ang tukong salitang ito na mag-appear sa papers nyo. 
bago kayo kumain ng masasarap, yung nang paborito inyong inyong. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is your Pinay Viajera. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like and comment down below what you think. Um, mga tips na kailangan pang gawin on the day of your medical examination. Maybe I skip something. So if may dagdag pa kayo, just comment down below. And if gusto nyo ma shout out sa next video ko, just comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, adios!